Hello and welcome to our demo video. In this video, you will see how to use the Hub2Hub -Hub functionality on iHub. Currently, you are seeing the iHub homepage. For our demo purposes, we will be using the Application Management tab and the Application Provisioning tab. Once I go to the Application Provisioning tab, I would see that I have no credits yet, since I have not purchased any. HubTop credits should be purchased via Industrial Edge Marketplace. On Marketplace, you can find it under the name hub to hub Credit, and there are product packages as small, medium, and large, depending on the credit amount. Once I do a purchase of 10 credits, I will start to see the remaining number of credits on iHub as 10. Note that each credit corresponds to a single license that would be provisioned to a customer. To start with your hub to hub journey, you first have to have an application that is onboarded to iHub. To onboard an application, I go into the Application Management tab and upload the necessary files. For an application to be provisionable through hub to hub feature, it should have at least one publicly released version, and the application itself should not be published. In other words, you cannot provision an application if it's already in Marketplace. Once my application is onboarded and the version is publicly released, I go back to the Application Provisioning tab. The ecosystem agreement will work as the Terms and Conditions document of the application. A pop-up will come up once I click on the button to provision. Here takes place the necessary recipient information that the application will be provisioned to. I fill out the organization name and the message, and I select the license count as three. Once again, I would like to remind that the license count entered here will be taken from my total hub to hub credit, as one credit equals to one license. The recipient email field is optional, and if not filled out, the notification email will be sent to all users in the provided organization. Once I click on provision, I can now see that this provisioning is in waiting approval state. Now, let's go and check what happens on the recipient side. As the customer, if I go to the library tab, I would see a button as approval list. Once I click here, I will be able to see all the waiting provisionings that I have received. Here, I see the one that we have just provisioned as the app provider. To be able to accept an application, the terms and conditions has to be accepted first. Terms and conditions can only be accepted by the organization admin. After I accept the terms and conditions, the accept button for the provisioning will not be disabled anymore. Please note that unlike the terms and conditions, the application itself can be accepted by any user in the organization. Once the provisioned application is accepted, it is listed in the library. If I click on the tile, I will be able to see the subscription quantity, which is equal to the number of licenses that were provisioned. I also have the chance to check the terms and conditions file whenever I need.